What is going on people, this is um, Cass Vlogs and today I'm going to be um, giving a little tutorial on how to live stream. I've been getting many people asking me how to live stream and they've just been wanting to know how to live stream. So today I'm going to be showing you how to live stream. It's pretty simple and straightforward so I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to your internet explorer. Um, I'll put the link in the description to all of these download links. So the first one is livestream.com slash platform producer and then the second one is soundflower reason why soundflower is say if you're recording with a HD PVR you can put the HD PVR's output as um as the soundflower I think it is wait let me have a look right now so you want to open up um, ITV and as you can see here you want to put the output to soundflower two channels yeah so that means it's um stereotype with two channels. Yeah, so that's all so what you do is just just download install that, then you go straight to your ITV and then just basically go to audio and just set the output to that, okay? And then second thing is you want to download um this, okay? Wait, where is it? Podcaster. You want to download this because this is um the main thing. I think it's an amazing program reason why I ain't put this just for Mac is because it's for Windows as well so basically what you're watching you just do exactly the same for um, Windows I'm not sure if Soundflower is for the Mac you can look for some other program that works okay so once you've downloaded that tools download you want to install the live procaster okay so let's continue continue agree Right, let's just wait for this to install. Um, a good thing about this is this, um, basically, if you ain't um, got um, a good enough computer, it still actually goes quite fast with the stream, even though if you ain't got a good enough computer. And as well, if your internet connection's really bad, even if you're sending at like a hundred kilobits per second, it still it still don't lag when you're live streaming it's just like maybe 30 seconds behind on upload speed so I think that's not really good the only thing is you want to get the resolution right if you have a high resolution and your computer is like not fast or it's, um, my computer is fast enough to have 1280 by 720 or 180p but my internet connection ain't so I have to go by a lower resolution which I think everyone will actually because there's not a fast enough internet connection to really stream live HD unless you've got some proper sick internet connection and a proper fast computer alright so let's get into this now so this should be installing All right, we've got about a minute to install now less than a minute oh yeah guys if you wanna s All right, yeah, let's just close that alright so if you wanna see a terrific um, tutorial and see what it looks like please let me know all right so you want to go to applications go to live stream podcast and drag it out down into your dock because you'll be losing using it a lot and another thing you want to all right so now we've got this show i'm going to put this to a reasonable place about here and you want to open up the live stream podcaster Alright, so what you do is before all of that, you have to sign in. So I'm going to sign in right now. I think it is Cast Vlogs. I think that's right. Yep, it is. Alright, now as you can see, it's already got your built in eyesight. So if you want to live stream yourself doing video stuff, you can. But if you want to go more advanced, you can go no camera and put this on custom quality preferences and you want to go to you want to make sure those are all checked because they're quite good automate add recordings I'll check all of them because you want all your live streams to go in your library on the website you know so people can watch it say so, yeah it's pretty cool and all that alright so the second thing you're gonna have to do now is 500 by 280 well it says 281 but you gotta untick the lock ratio and put 282 that makes it um, a bit more better quality and gives it a nice sort of look. Alright, so the frames per second you can change to your liking. 
I use 30 because my computer is like fast enough for 30 frames per second. So if your computer is not that fast, make sure you put it down to about 20, okay? 20 does not take the quality down that much. And for target bit rate, you can have it as 300 or 200. It does not matter what your bit rate is, I don't think. But I go with 400 because my computer is quite fast with the internet. Okay. So with audio, it's just all the same, all the same, and you just click save. And then when you're ready to go live, you just click go live. And what it does is it automatically puts you straight online. You've got your chat box here right now, and everything is just amazing. Alright, so first of all, it starts capturing your whole screen. So what you want to do is you want to zoom in by clicking this, and you just want to make it small enough so it fits your whole screen like this okay and as you can see you've got a little um, bit here where it shows you um, what the video looks like you can also um, you got a chat book here so you can like talk to the viewers hi and all that and you got a promotion, you got a player where you copy the link and you can actually um, load that emblem tag or whatever to put on your what's it called. Alright, so as well, this is very cool, I reckon this is the best thing about it, is the mixer. First of all, you want to go into your mixer tool and you want to put, if you're using your built-in microphone, you can use that. But I use my Samsung CO1U microphone because it's quite high quality. And... You can have speakers audio as well if you want to play some music later on. And for this, you want to click Soundflower 2 channel, and that actually plays the game sound as well. Okay? So that's really amazing. So with the game sound, you want to put the game sound down a bit, and you want to have your thingy about that because it plays quite loud. Okay? So then once you're done with that, that's pretty much it. You're live streaming right now, and... If you want to see your live stream, what it looks like, I don't recommend watching your live stream at the same time because it does actually take up some lag. Also, as well, check out my friend's channel. He's just made a new song, so if you like songs and that, just check him out. He's really amazing. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, that's him. Check him out. Link will be in the description to his channel as well, followed by the rest of the links. Um, yeah, so basically, you want to go to your live stream. Like you said, you already copy and paste it, so you just copy and paste. Take you straight to the live stream. And you can watch your live stream here. And as you can see, I've got a 26 minute because I've been live streaming quite a lot. You can live stream your Minecraft. You just do exactly the same with Green Bar. Alright, I've got to mute that because it just repeats me. Yeah, so basically you can record Minecraft, anything that you can rec um you got shown on your desktop you can record. So it's pretty amazing. So yeah, you can after it's done, I've already put it as automatic save. So when you stop recording, you just have to type in what you want to save it to. And yeah, you can just watch the live stream. So as you can see this is one of my um last live streams I was doing. Um Another thing as well, which I think they're going to update soon about the program, is to make it so you can do picture in picture. That should be happening soon. So hopefully that will be a new thing to the thing. Alright, so this has been um, a pleasure like making this video, and I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video. Um, I'd appreciate if you thumbs up this video, because not a lot of people know how to live stream, and if they knew how to live stream, they would. So yeah, this is a pretty good feature. So if you're not um, on live stream, you want to go register on live stream, of course, because you have to register to use um, to live stream. Okay. So that's um, this is just amazing. Okay. This um, I'm not gonna lie. This program is really cool. So I just like to say thanks to everyone who's actually took their time to watch this. Give it a like, favorite it if you can, and leave a positive comment on the next video you want me to do okay thanks for watching i'll see you later goodbye